Hello and welcome to another video. This is a how-to video explaining how you can stream from multiple computers into a central server, which will then restream to a streaming service like Twitch or YouTube or Facebook, something like that, even restream IO. So how do you do this? Uh, I'm going to do this simple example with just one server and one client but it can be expanded to use how many number of clients you want and you will see in a minute how it's done so first the server uh, first you need to know the IP of your own server which you can do by going to a command prompt and typing IP config slash all in this case you see that my IP is if I scroll up a little bit 192.168.14 is right here so this is important to know for later uh, other stuff that you need on this machine you need OBS which you see is already running uh, preferably the latest version I'm running 21.0.1 the 64-bit version and you need the engine server and if you don't know uh, how to get an engine server with RTMP support and this RTMP support part is important I will put a link down below uh, of, of a video where I have explained all that. Uh, Yog is making weird noises, of course, while I'm recording. Stop that, Yog. He does. He never listens to me. Um, so what we want to do? First, we need to configure this computer. This computer is the server. Uh, you already see OBS here is already uh, set up. I will show you the Nginx configuration file first and then I will walk you through how you put the stuff on screen so this is the Nginx configuration file uh, you have a worker process one here although I think the camera is on top of it but believe me it's there uh, you have events worker connection 1024 I have no clue what this even does RTMP uh, listening to we are having a server of our RTMP listening to port 1935 Chunk size 4096, this is the default value that it has, I believe. And then you have two applications set up just to listen. Uh, one is called N01, the other one is called N02. So from the client 1, you will use N01. From client 2, you will use, you will use N02. You'll have both connections into the server, and then they will be available locally to be restreamed or composited in OBS and restreamed somewhere else so how do i uh, open these connections on obs once they are already receiving the information so here on the server uh, you can right click add a new uh, media source and on media source i already have one in zero one i'm going to create a new one called in zero two you just click ok remove the local file the type rtmp localhost because i'm restreaming locally no need to put the ip because he knows already rtmp default is 1935 and then type in 02 slash in 02 i'm not streaming anything in uh in in 02 so it's normal that i don't have a preview otherwise you would already be seeing here a preview of the the thing so why did i type in 02 twice the first in 02 is the name of the application the second N02 is the stream key. For simplicity reasons, I put them the same because we don't really care about security on the local network right now. Although you should, but you know, blah, blah, blah. Let's not get into security right now. But this is how you would set up the, the local media source. And then I would have an N02 here. Uh, it's not receiving anything, so it's just a blank, but in 01 is receiving something. It's down here, so I'm gonna actually bring it to top, so you can see it. Bam. And it's already coming from uh, the other machine, which is over there. So I will change to that machine and explain the rest from there. So be right back. Okay, now I'm on the other machine. You can see that there's a little bit of lag. Let's maximize this a little bit. I'm looking to this webcam now. So this machine, they will always have a little bit of lag. That's uh, hard to remove completely. So be aware of that. Uh, and here you need, on this machine, this is the client machine, so for Berlin Open, we will need uh, the players 
to configure OBS on their machine and set this up. So I will show you how to do this. So you can set up a new scene. For example, I have here WGL with a lot of stuff. I'm going to create a new one just for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, let's call it Berlin. Berlin open. Bam. So new scene, completely empty. What do I need to do? First, I need to add the webcam. So I'm going to right click, add uh, video capture device. I already have a webcam. I do not want to take phone calls right now. Uh, I add the existing webcam. Bam, it's here. We'll lower it a little bit. Add a new thing. Call it uh, game capture. And I already have the Warlight app here, but uh, so I'm going to select that one. But what this would be would show you this kind of screen where you would have to select what window you have. And in this case, I have Warzone client running, and that's why it's detecting uh, Warzone right now. Uh, so once you have that, you have those two elements on screen, and you can composite them any way, any way you want. I would say that you would should maximize the Warlight window as much as possible, and then put your webcam down below here preferably higher in the hierarchy of the source so it overlays and uh, this is a nice setup for 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 your thing usually this corner isn't very used it because it's the menu corner so it's it's nice that you can have your webcam here and yeah so you are streaming from here into uh, the other machine so how do you do that uh, you go to settings on settings if you go to stream you can composite here the address. Um, actually, this part is wrong. It should be RTMP 2.192.168.14, but apparently it still manages to reach that even if it's HTTP instead of RTMP. Um, anyways, you have to put RTMP to point slash slash uh, the IP of the machine which was the thing we looked up the first thing on the video, which in our case was 192.168.14. Then the port, which is listening to on the engine server, which is 1935. And then slash and the channel that you're streaming into, which in this case, it's in01. Uh, the stream key is the same as the channel name, in01, as I explained before on the server side. And when you do this, you press OK. And uh, if you click start streaming, you should already be streaming into that engine server on the other machine. So let's switch back to the other machine to wrap things up. Okay, so we're back on this machine. Um, so you saw how to configure stuff there. Uh, the idea is that you can have multiple sources here on, on this engine server and then you load them all up. For example, if I'm doing a 4 versus 4 uh, or 2 versus 2 uh, player match, I can have four sources from four different computers all being streamed here and show them in real time and then just composite the screens like put one here, one there, one over there, one over there and uh, comment about everything that's happening. Uh, I can also switch between scenes to see one specific player. So a lot of things that I can do. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video to show people how to configure um, OBS and Nginx. Uh, the main difficulty is on the server side. As you've seen, you need to have Nginx and configure Nginx. Uh, the, the client side is relatively easy. You just need OBS, configure a scene on OBS and stream to the proper channel with the proper stream key. So just set that up. Make sure that you're both on the same local network. Otherwise, you will have uh, you will not be able to reach the other machine. And uh, yeah, that's it. For people who want to do this over the internet, it's also possible, but you need to have a specific uh, server that has a public IP. That's the main difficulty. Uh, if you can open up your router to have your IP exposed, you can use your own machine for that. Uh, but there are some services online where you can uh, get a machine there which has a public IP and uh, you can stream stuff to there. And you would also have to be more careful with authentication and that kind of stuff, which is not being covered in this video. This is just the basics on how to get it working. 
So yeah, I hope this video was useful. Uh, see you next time for another how-to video. Bye-bye, take care.